This is Larry Jordan, the host of the Digital Production Buzz. The following interview is an excerpt from a recent program. To hear the entire program, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. James Mathers is a veteran cinematographer and president of the nonprofit educational cooperative, the Digital Cinema Society. It's always a delight having him on the show. Welcome back, James. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Larry. You've got a special event coming up this Saturday. What is it? Well, um, it's going to be at the Raleigh Studios um, in Hollywood. It's called Four Ways to a 4K Finish. Uh, <laughs> the reason, uh, <laughs> it's a catchy name, I think. Um, but there's so many different ways to get to, uh, to 4K. And uh, it's increasingly being demanded by, um, you know, the OTTs like um, Netflix and uh, Amazon. And um, it's really not that challenging anymore. But like, um, you know, the old saying goes, it's like the workflows are like a, a snowflake. Each one is unique. And by the time they hit the ground, they disappear. There's a million ways to get to a 4K finish. Uh, we're going to look at um, uh, do it yourself on the desktop, which is, you know, getting to be increasingly practical. We're going to look at the more traditional models, um, you know, doing an offline and then going to a uh, a place like a photo camera modern and uh, doing your uh, basic uh, old-fashioned online finish with the mezzanine uh, uh, 4k master and then um, uh, we're also going to look at hybrids and uh, camera to cloud now I will confess two years ago I was a skeptic on 4k and I've gradually been dragged kicking and screaming into the higher resolution environment that 4k offers is it is it really uh, is it really for the mass market? The, uh, should general filmmakers consider 4K, or should we just sort of stay stuck with HD? Well, you should consider it, and um, and as a matter of fact, I pitch it, and uh, it's based. You can see all the gray hair that I have here, and uh, the, I, I got earned all those with a lot of experience. <laughs> and experience tells me that this is very similar to what we went through with uh, HD uh, maybe 10 years ago. Uh, and at that time, there was a lot of producers that were, um, uh, I was pushing HD and they said, why do I want to bother to do that? It's more expensive, it's more complicated. Um, and um, some of those projects I look back and, and, and they really shot themselves in the foot if they didn't shoot HD because now uh, they have something that's four by three standard def and nobody wants to see it. Um, I know I did this uh, documentary where I literally circled the globe uh, for National Geographic uh, doing a, a documentary on the world's great religions and uh, it was a fantastic, I mean, worth the price of admission just for the B-roll of the, you know, the temples in Thailand and, um, you know, every, in India and everywhere else we went. But uh, um, it happened to premiere uh, the, the, the night that we uh, invaded uh, Iraq to start the Iraq war. So needless to say, nobody watched it. <laughs> nobody thought about bringing it out again a few months later. Um, it, it just it lost its momentum. And uh, and it would be a great uh, program that would stand the test of time, but it's in standard def. And when the rights reverted back to the producers, they couldn't do anything with it. They couldn't sell it, uh, which was a real shame. And I've had you know lots of examples like that. I have examples like that for for us in uh, the Digital Cinema Society when we first started our streaming effort. You know we record all our events and we stream them from the website. Uh, but when we were finishing only in a really small player window, I forget, uh, like uh, 240 by whatever. And uh, that's all that you could, you know, basically stream at the, in those days. Uh, but now you can stream HD in our, you know, some of our programs, some of the best programs we have, like at a lighting seminar with the ASC. Um, uh, you know, it's just, it's hard to show anymore. It's hard to watch in the small thing. You can't blow it up full screen like people like to do. Uh, so I know that we're going to start doing 4K. As a matter of fact, we're going to shoot this next meeting you know, with the Panasonic Vericam in 4K, and we're going to uh, finish it and uh, and put it on YouTube as a 4K uh, video. Now, there's some talk going on of 8K and moving up to even higher resolutions. Should we start to worry about this? or Because I think there's a point of diminishing returns, personally, where you're just not going to be able to see all those pixels. What do you think? 
Um, there sure is a point in diminishing returns, and I think that uh, 4K is a, a good plateau, not necessarily for production. It's good to be able to shoot at the highest resolution that you can afford because there's so many uh, things that you can do with uh, reframing and stabilizing and that sort of thing. To have the extra area is not a bad thing, you know, if it's getting to be practical as it is. Uh, but as far as, uh, you know, finishing in 4K, I agree that's a point of diminishing returns. You can't really see the difference uh, on the size uh, screens that we have uh, today. As a matter of fact, you can't really tell the difference uh, between um, uh, HD and 4K, uh, much less 4K to 8K uh, on the screen, I'll say a 55-inch screen if you're more than a few feet back. So uh, the geography uh, inside of a space of a living room is going to be a limiting factor. You, you need to have a much bigger uh, screen to be able to perceive the difference in resolution unless you're sitting right next to it. So um, I, I think that uh, 4K is going to be a good plateau for a, quite a while to come. And for people that want to pick up on all the information of a 4K workflow at your event, where do they go on the web to sign up? They can go to digitalcinemasociety.org and on there, there's a, a notice about the event and a place to uh, RSVP, which is uh, RSVP at digitalcinemasociety.org. James Mathers is a veteran cinematographer and the president of the Digital Cinema Society. James, thanks for joining us today and best of luck on your special event this Saturday. Thank you so much, Larry. Bye-bye. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. To stay connected and receive updates from The Buzz, sign up for our free weekly newsletter now. Or you can learn more about us on our website. And thanks for watching The Digital Production Buzz.